So whether your child is hard of hearing or maybe a parent or even your spouse, let's talk about a potential reason for that and a real simple remedy, okay? Now, there are two structures in your brain that control hearing. One is the auditory cortex, and the second is the inferior colliculus. And realize this, even though that one third of your brain runs on glucose, you don't have to consume glucose to get the glucose. Your body can make it. It's called gluconeogenesis. It can make it from protein. It can make it from fat. It can mobilize your stored sugar. And the mineral iodine is crucial in the regulation of energy in your body. And think about it. What gland controls your energy production? The thyroid, okay? And what gland needs iodine to regulate that energy? The thyroid. The thyroid makes T4, okay? And then it converts to T3, which is the active form of the thyroid hormone. T4 is inactive. And the four and the three represents the number of iodine molecules that are, that's attached to that hormone. So your hearing mechanism is dependent on the thyroid and iodine. If a pregnant mother is deficient in iodine within the first two trimesters of pregnancy, the risk factor for hypothyroidism goes way up. Also, other risk factors go up. Loss of hearing, uh, decreased IQ, uh, poor growth and development, many, many different things. And on top of that, a lot of people are deficient in iodine, especially children. In fact, 241 million children worldwide are deficient in iodine. So unless you're consuming like seafood or fish, it's very easy to become iodine deficient simply because the soils don't have the trace minerals that they need. So a very, very simple and inexpensive way to get your iodine, sea kelp. So sea kelp that is harvested in a really clean ocean would be a really good source, not just of iodine, but all of the trace minerals. It's also really good in amino acids as well. And especially if a woman is pregnant, okay, she should be consuming sea kelp. Now, some people say they're allergic to iodine because when they consume shellfish or fish or something, they break out in a rash. It's not an allergy to iodine directly. It's something in the food that you're eating that's connected to iodine. In that case, then I would recommend going to the health food store and finding a supplement that has iodine without anything extra, and they should be totally fine. Now, I put some studies down below that show some interesting, fascinating data between your hearing and iodine, and sometimes it takes several months before you can see improvement, but if you know of someone that has hearing problems, put them on sea kelp and see if it can help them. So if you want to get notified with all my content, click the notification bell next to subscribed.